All right, YouTube Nation. Hey, Josh out here in Seneca County, but let's check this out here. 60 by 64 post frame, commercial post frame building under construction right here at the fairgrounds in Attica, Ohio. By the way, if you're ever in Attica, boy, I tell you, this is some of the best dirt racing. All right, so they really do have good racing. So Attica, Ohio. But anyway, check this out here. We're actually going to come back. You can see those six by sixes on the perma columns. So in this video, I'm going to share with you kind of the progress update. It's been kind of tough weather out here today's pretty mild but rainy but you can see the six by sixes with the concrete perma columns and what we're going to do is we're going to come back and wrap that with azac trim right there so you can see there there's a continuous pitch we came right off that you can see what we did there so we don't have to put an extra fascia soft in there we have that continuous pitch you'll be able to see it like over here and over here so just got a couple guys working today but we've been you see that continuous pitch right there see that uh, four actually what is the pitch on this my goodness i believe it's a 612 412 maybe well, i don't know but you can see the continuous pitch there you can see it coming off the eave there all right you can see how we beveled that in there all right so kind of give you an idea here this was a, a concrete foundation as you can see there and let's go inside here i'm gonna actually turn the radio just that a little bit but you can see here the foundation work that we did and then obviously we did wet set brackets and when we did that boy i tell you when you're setting wet set you gotta, you gotta be real careful as far as the concrete clearing. you don't want to go too fast but you don't want to wait too long and then we put the four plies you can see that four ply inside of the concrete perma columns or actually the wet not coming here for but the, the wet set bracket there on top of the foundation you see that all right, so a lot of the videos you've been following along this journey, we utilize three ply laminated columns. You've seen some with concrete permit columns, obviously some six by six. But check out those hurricane ties. A lot of the videos that I've been presenting, showcasing with you guys there in the audience, we use actually an H1 hurricane tie, which is a smaller one, but this obviously zoned commercial. So we use an H10, that's an H10 hurricane tie. So you see how, how thick, not how thick, but how much bigger that is compared to an H1 and so forth. Um, but obviously that was spec based on the commercial drawings. All right, so kind of give you an idea though. So raised cord scissor trusses, and obviously gonna give this multi-use building there for the fairgrounds, more room. And then drip stop, all right, comes pre-attached to the metal. And I've talked about that numerous times, but let me see what else I can share with you here as well. But we always do this house wrap. You can see even on a commercial post frame building, all right, house wrap, nominal cost, but again, keeps the, you know, keeps it airtight as much as possible. Um, so a nominal cost, but something you definitely want to do there. But again, that drip top, I've said it before, but it comes with a 20 year guarantee. All right, proof for animal confinement. This is not gonna be an animal confinement building, but easy to wipe down, pressure wash. All right. And you can see here uh, the progress on this. So a nice layout here, the scissor trusses again. It, it just give it more headroom there. See that, it makes it look bigger. You know, 60 by 64, 16 feet tall. Uh, pretty good size here. So there's the update on this. I will keep you guys abreast on the development here and so forth. So keep it locked and loaded. Comments always welcome. Attic Lumber, Attic Lumber since 1925.